हेलो एंड वेलकम एवरी वन टू द स्काई कोडिंग सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डू द स्नो फ्लेक डेटा लोडिंग फ्रॉम द एक्सटर्नल स्टेजेस एंड फॉर द एक्सटर्नल स्टेज वी विल यूज द क्लाउड प्लेटफॉर्म दैट इज ए डब्ल्यू एस एस थ्री बकेट वी विल यूज ओके इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज वी हैव डन द इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ स्नो फ्लेक विद द ए डब्ल्यू एस एस थ्री एंड वी हैव सक्सेसफुली क्रिएटेड द ए डब्ल्यू एस फ्री ट्रायल अकाउंट ओके इफ यू डोंट नो हाउ टू क्रिएट अ ए डब्ल्यू एस फ्री ट्रायल अकाउंट एंड हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट द ए डब्ल्यू एस एस थ्री बकेट विद द स्नो फ्लेक बाई यूजिंग द स्टोरेज इंटीग्रेशन देन यू कैन वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज द लिंक इज गिवेन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ओके यू कैन वॉच दोज वीडियोज एज वेल इफ यू डोंट हैव वॉच माई वीडियोज देर ओके सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लोड द डेटा फ्रॉम द एक्सटर्नल स्टेजेज मीन्स ए डब्ल्यू एस एस थ्री बकेट एंड वी विल यूज द कॉपी कमांड ओनली फॉर लोडिंग द डेटा फ्रॉम द एक्सटर्नल स्टेजेस ओके एज वेल एज वी हैव ऑल्सो डन इंटरनल स्टेजेस लोडिंग बाई यूजिंग द कॉपी कमांड ओके सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट विदाउट वेस्टिंग एनी टाइम ओके सो फॉर लोडिंग द डेटा फ्रॉम एक्सटर्नल स्टेजेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट मी क्रिएट स्टोरेज इंटीग्रेशन ओके सो बेसिकली दिस इज अ क्वेरी फॉर स्टोरेज इंटीग्रेशन एज आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड दिस स्टोरेज इंटीग्रेशन इन माई प्रीवियस वीडियो एंड आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्क्राइब ऑल दीज थिंग्स ओके सो लेट मी जस्ट क्विकली रिवाइज दोज थिंग्स ओके सो फॉर क्रिएटिंग अ स्टोरेज इंटीग्रेशन दिस इज बेसिकली द सेंटेक्स क्रिएट और रिप्लेस स्टोरेज इंटीग्रेशन एंड दिस इज अ टाइप ऑफ एक्सटर्नल स्टेज दिस इज स्टोरेज प्रोवाइडर इज सिंपल स्टोरेज डिवाइस दैट इज ए डब्ल्यू एस एस थ्री बकेट एंड इट इज इनेबल्ड सो वी हैव गिवन बुलियन वैल्यू ट्रू and this is the arn of my aws s3 role okay let me show you that okay so this is basically the arn okay of this role sky aws admin okay we have to exchange the arns of snowflake with the aws and from the aws s3 to the snowflake okay and the we have allowed this location aws this is sky bucket and we have this pipes folder and we will load the data from that as this as well okay 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 <coughs> so this is uh, my bucket okay is sky buckets this is sky bucket this is pipes okay we will load the data from here okay uh, so and this is uh, just a comment okay so now let me execute this and create a storage integration first okay so now you can see my storage integration is successfully created and after that you have to just describe this integration and you have to give the copy the arn of this one okay so you have to just check storage ai aws im user arn and you have to copy this arn of the snowflake by describing you have to just copy this arn and you have to paste it there in the im management role in the in the role in the trust relationship and you have to just click here edit trust policy and you have to paste this arn okay as i have already pasted this arn so i am not going to paste this arn and again and again but if you haven't done the integration then you can do by this way or if you want to know all these things in brief then you can watch my previous video where i have explained all the integration of aws s3 with the snowflake in brief okay so this is how we do the integration storage integration configuration of aws s3 with the snowflake okay so now uh, this, this is the stage which i have created in my previous video and listed uh, listed you but for the proof that my uh, aws s3 is successfully connected with the snowflake okay so now uh, let me load the data from the aws s3 using the copy command okay so first of all let me show you that data file okay so basically this is my sample user email file which is having i think 10k records and we will load this data file okay this is also available into my snowflake okay so let me tell, show you that thing okay so you can see this is my path buckets sky bucket 01 and we have pipes folder and in the pipes folder we have these files in the aws s3 okay so first one is a uh, sample user email dot csv and this is custom underscore one okay so we will just use this sample user email dot csv file only okay so it is already uploaded into my aws s3 if you don't want to, if you don't know that how to upload the files okay so for uploading you have to just click on this upload and you have to click on add files and you can upload the files to your aws s3 bucket okay by this way you can upload okay so my file is already there so i will not upload that again and again we will load the data from this file only okay as we are doing the loading first from the internal stages for the internal stages we are just first we have to use the put command to upload the file into the stage from the 
command prompt but here what you have to do in the external stages you have to just create the stage and the stage will all whenever you will do the listing of the stage it will show all the files which are available in that stage in the cloud location okay so first of all uh, we will uh, load the, this data file into our table okay so first of all let me create a table okay so basically i have already created this table this is simply a metadata for the creating a table it is having just six rows id first name last name email gender and about me okay so first of all let me create the table okay 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 let me select this because it is taking this line as well okay because we haven't given this in the comment okay so let me select this and now you can see table user email is successfully created okay and uh, let me refresh and now you will see here user email is successfully created and uh, why it is showing 10 rows okay okay uh, let me refresh this once we create or okay okay uh, this is a sky schema okay uh, so uh, let me create this table in sky schema only sky dot sky okay sky is database name sky is uh, use sky is the schema name as well okay so let me execute this again by selecting this because it is not taking this line as well okay let me refresh this once okay so now you will see here you, this is my user email and we don't have any any of the rows here okay it is having zero rows okay uh, let me verify that thing okay select asterisk from table name is user email okay and now let me execute this and now you will see here we have zero rows and these are the columns which i have in my table okay so after uh, creating a table you have to just create a file format okay so this is the basically the syntax for file format and we have just double quotes for double quotes we are using this 042 if you have a single quotes in the file uh, data then you can use the 047 this is an octal number for double quotes and single quotes and if you want to know in brief about the file format and stage and all this these file format properties then you can watch my those videos where i have described in brief that how to do these things and how to specify the properties and if for our internal stages we have created one video for a special character column mismatch loading and all this okay so you can watch them okay so this is about the file format uh, file, my file format is now successfully created now, now it's time to create a stage okay because stage is a very important okay because without creating a stage how can we load the data okay so first of all uh, let me create a stage or we can use this stage as well okay uh, okay so let me create the stage then you will understand that how to create a stage okay so let me create a stage okay so for creating a stage you have to give create or replace a stage and after that you have to give the database name dot schema name dot uh, stage name okay <coughs> oh, okay stage name uh, let me give stage aws okay stage aws is my stage name after that uh, you have to give the url as well okay url with equals to and after that uh, you have to give the url of which bucket folder you want to access okay so let me go to the properties and let me copy this url of this bucket okay uh, so let me give the url here in the single quotes and i have successfully pasted the url okay after that uh, you have to give the storage integration property as well storage integration okay storage integration will be after that you have to give the storage integration property here okay in t uh, spelling is wrong okay let me correct that and after that let me copy the name this is storage integration name so we will give just storage integration name here and after that uh, let me uh, give the file format as well okay file uh, let me correct the spelling of file format file format and uh, my file format is uh, this is file format so my file format name is okay okay uh, let me create the file format in this schema only sky dot sky okay let me create the file format again my file format is created and uh, let me copy the file format name and let me paste it here okay and let me give the semicolon okay so this is how we create a table okay uh, create a stage okay, sorry stage okay so create or replace stage and database name dot schema name dot uh, stage name and after that you have to give the url here that which folder you want to access uh, by this stage okay so i want to access this sky bucket 01 and this is my bucket name and this is pipes folder okay i want to access this pipes folder okay so let me show you all the folders have, which i am having in my sky bucket 01 okay so we have three folders csv others and pipes okay so i want to access this pipes folder and here i have this file which i want 
want to load okay so that's why i have given here sky bucket uh, sky bucket 01 and uh, this is my pipe solder which i want to access by this stage okay and this is storage integration which i have created and this is the file format okay there are basic uh, file format properties which i have given okay so now let me create a stage okay so control enter so you can see my stage area is now successfully created and now let me list this list at the rate and uh, let me give the stage name here okay okay uh, let me select here sky database first okay database schema and let me select the schema as sky only okay then we don't have to specify again and again sky dot sky okay database name dot schema name okay so let me copy this uh, stage name here and let me paste here okay so now let me execute this and it will show all the data files which are available to our cloud this is sky packet 01 in the pipes folder okay so now you can see we have these five files five rows okay you can see this is uh, this is the file which i will load here okay and let me show you in the uh, uh, sky packet 01 okay so you have one two three four five files available into our pipes folder in the sky bucket 01 okay so we have these file files and these five files we are able to see here as well custom underscore one two people dot json user dot csv okay you can see people dot json user dot csv custom underscore one custom underscore two okay so now my storage integration is now successfully working and we have successfully created the stage and we are able to see the stage files as well okay so this way you can verify that your storage integration is working or not okay if your stage is showing the file then it is obviously clear and definitely sure that your storage integration is successfully integrated with the aws s3 and snowflake okay so now let me copy use the copy command for loading the data okay so let me use the copy uh, type the comment copying data uh, from aws s3 okay uh, now for copying we will give copy into and uh, uh, which table i want to use this user table okay user email I, I have created this table here now user email okay so we will give copy into user email table and uh, we are copying from which stage stage name will be stage aws from this stage okay uh, we will give at the rate and stage name at the rate stage aws and let me specify the uh, file format as well if you will not specify the file format then it's okay because you have given the file format name here as well okay in the stage okay so we will not specify the file format here okay and now uh, let me give the files okay files equals to and which file i want to load i want to load this file okay so we will give just the name okay because we have multiple files in this stage location so we have to just specify the name that which file i want to load okay so let me give this a semicolon and suppose that you don't want to specify this files uh, property so you can give here as well from at the rate is stage dot aws you, you can just simply give forward slash and you can paste this name here okay then also it will work okay i will show you that method as well okay so first of all let me load the data by this way okay so basically this is a basic syntax for loading the data from the external stage and you can uh, use other properties as well on error and all those okay so that's all about the copy command and let me execute this okay and you can see here user email table is not having is not having any of the our data it is having zero rows and size is also zero kubiku and now we will execute this and now you will see that it will successfully load all the data okay so you can see status is loaded rows passed 1000 and rows loaded 1000 and error seen zero null there is a no error status is loaded okay it has successfully loaded this data file and it has passed 100,000 rows and it has successfully loaded the 1000 rows as well okay so now let me verify this thing okay select a stick from user email okay and now let me execute this so now you will see here we have 10 uh, thousand rows okay and you can see here user email we have zero rows okay and whenever we will do refresh then it will show thousand rows okay so you can see this is my user email table earlier it was not having any row we are seeing zero rows and size is zero okay okay so now we have thousand rows here successfully loaded okay so now you can see we have this data which i have loaded from the external aws s3 bucket from the external stages okay 
so by this way we can load the data from the external stages uh, external stages from the aws s3 microsoft azure or gcp whatever cloud platform you are using okay so by this way we can do the loading okay and uh, you can use uh, there is a one more method for loading you can use the snow pipe as well okay we will discuss loading from of the snow pipe from internal stages as well as external stages in uh, upcoming videos okay so stay tuned to the sky coding for upcoming videos okay so that's all for today's session and uh, in the previous videos we have almost covered all the topics of internal stages we have done loading of special character column mismatch big data files and uh, loading multiple csv files in one go okay so you can practice all those examples uh, which i have done from the internal stages you can practice all those examples from this external stages as well okay you can upload those same data files to the external stages and you can practice those examples okay so now let me show you that thing as well okay what we have covered so far in the internal stage okay so we have done these examples we have loaded multiple files big data files column mismatch special character okay so you can practice all these four or five examples uh, by loading the data by first of all you will upload these data files into your uh, into your bucket in the aws s3 after that you can use the copy command and you can load the data from aws s3 as well so that your concepts will be more clear for external stages as well okay loading from internal and external is uh, is uh, just a uh, same okay there is a little bit difference only so this is the thing which we have covered so far okay dealing with loading errors and named stages all the stages are available to our stages internal okay so that's all uh, we have covered so far okay so we, you can try the data loading from the external stages as well and uh, you can uh, try the examples of, of loading which i have done for the internal loading you, you internal loading you can try those examples for external stages loading as well okay so that's all for today's session meet you soon in the next very interesting tutorial and maybe the next tutorial will be on the snow pipe or, or or on the time travel and zero copy cloning okay so we will discuss the time travel and zero copy cloning that how can we uh, you do the time travel and zero copy cloning in the snowflake why we are just uh, saying a zero copy cloning why we are not saying it as a copy cloning okay so we will discuss all those things in the further videos so that's all for today's session meet you soon in the next very interesting tutorial bye take care of yourself guys